Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's uh, Dame Diddy. And the uh, last episode, or the finale of the uh, Dream Academy just went off. How you feeling, 1080p? Emotionally exhausted. Yes. <laughs> Emotionally exhausted. Yes. So uh, I thought the uh, presentation of the show was really good. The stage is fire. Uh, a lot of people should be using that for performances. Shout out to Hav and Geffen for going all out on the set and making sure everything looked good. I like the commercial. Shout out to the sponsors right off the bat. You got Samsung. You got uh, Vitamin Water. Was there another sponsor in there? I can't even remember. Maybe some mattress company for that big mattress that they had. Uh, that was cool. Uh, the last two songs that the girls did, Team A and Team B, I thought they were pretty good. Um, did you enjoy one song more than the other? The first one. First song? I actually like the second song. So that's, uh, you know, different vibe. Um, as far as how I felt everybody did today, uh, I felt like Team A, I couldn't necessarily pick somebody to just overly outperform anybody. I, I was pretty much impressed with everybody. I thought um, Marquis really did her thing. Marquis was in Group A, right? I felt like Marquis was in Group A. I forgot. I Either way, whether Marquis was in <laughs> whether Marquis was in Group A or B, Marquis killed it. I thought she did a great job today. I think Marquis, she she improved a lot over the course of the show. I remember at one point I didn't think. Uh, she was much impressive at all, and just to see her at the end, man, like she she was doing her thing out there. Uh, team B, I thought they all were pretty good. My only gripe was uh, so anytime uh, Manon sung, like her level of dance comes down a bit. I know she's not necessarily a dancer; she's a singer, but that was the only thing I really saw. That like at least caught my attention. Mind you, these are just my opinions. Everybody has an opinion, right? Uh, but yeah, I thought you know that's what I've thought about the performances. I like the second song, Ten AP. Like the first song. Um, as far as the final decisions, uh, I don't know. I felt like I was torn. At, at, can you stop that from? I felt like I was torn um, for the fact that uh, I think I may have said it before, or I may have said it just to us in general when we not record. But I just made two groups. I would have just made two groups. I wouldn't have uh, made one group. But, I mean, obviously, for the drama, you know, you got to make two groups. I thought it was weird. It's not weird. I just don't like it. The whole uh, pick members of a group and then shove cameras in the face of the people that didn't get picked and ask them how they're feeling. Because it's like, man, come on, man. You know damn well they don't feel good. Like, there's nothing that you can say that's going to make them feel good at this time. It's like when the Super Bowl was over with and you immediately ask the losing team or the NBA championship, the finals is over, and you immediately go interview the losers. That's why in the in NFL now they give the losing team like uh, 20, 30 minutes before they do a press conference, or maybe that's an NBA you can't, I mean, but like right away, he walks over to them and is like, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, but yeah, the final formation of the team, I think they picked a solid team. I mean, that's not the team I would have picked. Um, I, I thought like, uh, uh, I mean, I know some people will say it in the comments, I'll just say, it. I feel like it, the formation of the group was going to be political, right? Uh, they weren't going to pick Ezrella and Laura, unfortunately. They weren't going to pick Samara and Manon. Uh, I'm uh so it, it was just like, so as soon as one made it, you're like, oh, well, that's it for her, uh, which sucked because I was just like, man, I actually like Ezrella. Um, I feel like both of them have something to offer. Laura carries that more mature vibe and Ezrella has the more child uh, childlike vibe. And uh, Ezrella. even though Ezrella is older, which is crazy, <laughs> but uh, I actually like both of them. And I thought both of them should be in the group. You know, uh, like I said, uh, what? No, I was going to say, so Ezrella and Laura or Megan and Daniela, if you if they were going to choose just both. Like as a right. So, team. yeah, because I, I was looking at Megan and Daniela as filling the same role to me. I know some people will disagree with that, but I felt like Megan and Danielle 
Yeah. Filled the same filled the same spot, and I felt like Danielle just did it better Danielle. than Daniela did it better than Megan. So when they picked both of them, I was just like, yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, to me, I think she's good, but I just feel like you just pick two people that do like the same thing really good. Uh, <laughs> but um, not happy that Emily didn't make the group. I thought she was really good, really great dancer. She she had some great youthful energy. She even in the performances today, I thought she did a dope job of flashing. Like every single time I look out of the corner of my eyes and I see Emily, she has the perfect face expression for this performance. Her and Laura, the whole time, always having a perfect face expression. Ezrella, she just always she just seems like somebody that you're gonna have smiles around. You know that person that every time they come around you. You, you grinning from... They're infectious. Yeah, they have infectious energy and you want to be happy around them. Mm -hmm. That's what I get with Ezrella. So I, I wasn't happy that she didn't make it. Uh, I don't dislike Manon. I think Manon is actually really talented. I just feel like... And the thing is, it's like it's not like they debuting tomorrow. They still got time to train. So by the time they debut, I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. But I just felt like her, her face expressions just didn't match her performance level. Uh, I like her voice. But I just think Samara just did it better. Samara sings better. She has a better voice. She had picked up performing really good. Her voice sounded good. I thought she should have made the group. Uh, aside from that, um, Yunche, you might not like this. I don't feel like she should have made the group. I mean, she's cool. But I think Nayang should have made the group. I understand she got sent home next last week. But I don't feel like, I feel like that was a setup. You can't send somebody home based off of something that you said to somebody in confidence that's supposed to be a counselor. That's foul. That's like a violation. It's like the ultimate form of betrayal. Now, nobody is going to trust any of you guys when they go to talk to y'all now. There's just things they ain't going to say. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure if they asked members of TWICE when they signed up, hey, do you ever want to do anything solo? Like, they would have been like, yeah. But, you know, out of fear, no, 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 I don't want to do nothing so I, I want to be in a group forever. Like, come on, y'all. Like, Na Young was perfect. Na Young was perfect for this group. It, that was an easy layup. So if, if it was me, I would have picked two different groups. But if I could only pick one, I would have made it seven. And it, it would have been Sophia. It would have been Na Young. It would have been Laura, Ezrella, Emily, Daniela, and Samara. That, that would have been my group right there. Um. But I think this, the group that they ended up with is pretty good. I don't know how I feel about the name yet. We'll see how I feel later on down the line. I mean, La Seraphim grew on me. I think I think it's a dope name. New Jeans is I, is, is a great name. Uh, some of the, sometimes I hear the group names, you know, they don't land. But then you know, we got a baby monster. We got a cat's eye. You know what we getting next? <laughs> You know, this is the next generation of K-pop, right? This is the next vibe. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens next, man. The presentation of the this, this show was great. You know, maybe we'll end up watching the show over on Patreon when it comes to Netflix. Uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, man. Dream Academy is done. It's in the books. When y'all pick these winners companies give these girls a moment to get themselves and get their minds right before they got to talk to the camera because you just kind of like devastated them i'm pretty sure and it's like when they say you know this ain't the end it's like for international groups we don't like as of right now it hasn't been proven that it isn't the end you know what i mean like i, I need to see a moment when a international group members that didn't make the group are doing stuff you know what i mean i know like with Ada K, you know, Melissa put her, she, she has her song that she put out, which is pretty dope. Uh, Christina's been like traveling, teaching people how to dance all over the place. But uh, I need to see, like even from this show, I need to see somebody from one of these groups signed to a, another label doing something else. And then I believe that this ain't the end. I haven't seen anybody from Baby Monster, uh, the members that didn't make it do anything. So I need to see that for, for that comment to not be fraudulent. But great show, Geffen and Hob. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that part at the end where the CEO was talking. That was, ah, I didn't like that. Like, 
it sounded like they were the worst teleprompter readers on the planet. It was it was not good. Uh, I don't want to harp on that too much. But great show, guys. Great show all the way back and forth. And uh, for those that haven't, go see the Marvels. It's actually a pretty good movie. I don't know what everybody's talking about. Everybody hating. Like, y'all, I don't know y'all hate women or what. But <laughs> I got some issues. Movie's pretty good. Uh, that's it. I'm out. Dame Diddy. 10 AP, you got anything to add? No. That, if you had to pick your group, what would it have been? I wouldn't. You wouldn't? Okay. All right, y'all. Peace.